Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pai is here. I am a functional health coach and here to answer all your questions regarding health and fitness. I just like to say that I am not naked down here even though it looks it, but I am not. I have a top. I just got this question the other day and I thought it was perfect for YouTube. Can you put on muscle when dealing with hormonal imbalances? It's a good one, but it's a little tricky. Cause you can, it's gonna be very hard. Why would you want to, if you're kind of just putting a bandaid on the situation and not truly fixing what's going on? Personally, I, as a coach, the first thing that I'm gonna do is take care of your health. I will not go and start telling you, okay, let's let's put on some muscle. No, I'll have you work out, you know, maintain whatever muscle you have. We're gonna focus on your health first. Aesthetic can come later. Honestly, you're gonna be working twice as hard when you can work less once you fixed everything and actually get the results that you want and desire. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable at first. Get your health back and um, you're gonna work hard. You're gonna struggle. It's definitely a struggle and I know this and I can say it because I've been there, which is why I think I can relate so much to my clients and I know exactly what they're going through because I've been there, I've done it. I've, I know exactly what you're going through. I know how you're feeling, what's going through your head. It's gonna be hard at first and you're gonna get frustrated because you're like, I can't do a coach to get to lose weight and get more muscle, but I would not, I would be doing you a disservice if I do that. And honestly, if you do go to a coach that is telling you, no, we can totally do this. They're doing you a disservice and they're basically lying to you and making matters worse. The first thing and foremost is your health. You can get to the aesthetics after. You wanna focus on everything that is out of balance inside and that way it becomes easier for you and you're not working twice as hard to get the same results that you would once you try doing it as healthy, when you're healthy. It also depends on how low your hormones are, but honestly, your best bet is to focus more on your health. I was on the same boat. I wanted to put on muscle. My hormones were low. So I know exactly that feeling, but I am so glad that I took care of my health first and now I can focus on the aesthetics. If one of your hormones, the androgens, um, specifically the androtestosterone, if they are low, they are basically the hormone that provides half of the testosterone in a female body. It will be incredibly hard for you to put on muscle. If that is low, you will end up putting more fat than muscle at this point. And if you diet, you'll end up losing muscle. So that's why it is more important to fix internally and then get to the aesthetics. Basically, a proper plan would be with a functional coach who gets everything fixed internally and then worries on the aesthetic. That would be your best bet. Not just going with one of these personal trainers at the gym that are just gonna end up ruining everything for you and just making matters worse. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them down below and I will see you next Tuesday for another hormone session.